Hi diddly ho there YouTuberoos. Ha <laughs> It's a happy day, but it's kind of like not at the same time. So we got it fired up. I wrote it. Um, I took it down to the mailbox and on the way back, she died. And then the starter wouldn't engage. So I had to push it back. <laughs> oh, like a half mile walk of shame. Pushing a four wheeler. I could have come back and got the truck and trailer, but I didn't want to leave the four-wheeler down there. There's some shasty people around here. But what had happened was, is I got overzealous, and I went down to Tractor Supply, and I got some keyways. And it's already missing. The one bearing was already messed up, and the starter clutch, the other one right there that's missing. I'm holding the camera, and I'm holding the thing, so I can't really uh, point at it, but you can see it. It's missing. That piece got jammed up between here, and the crankshaft which caused the uh, generator to lock up and snap that keyway again so we're waiting until this part supposed to be here Monday or Tuesday but apparently uh, things are on the slow because uh, postal workers are refusing to work because of the corona which I totally understand um, hopefully that starter clutch shows up because that's what our problem is right now it's, it's just going to keep throwing bearings and it's going to keep snapping keyways. So no matter how fast or slow I'm going. Because I really wasn't going very fast. I was only in second gear. Just kind of putzing along. And uh, that's what happened. And also we have another problem that I see. That now I'm going to have to reset the timing on this. Because I think I snapped the timing chain. I sure did. So it looks like we got to get a timing chain too. Woohoo! Not excited. But it is what it is. Can't really do much about it but i had proof of life she rides i probably should have waited but i didn't so my bad i messed some stuff up but it was worth it she goes got proof of life but because i got ahead of myself now i gotta wait a little bit longer so yay me but at least i know how to set the timing now and i know what the problem was so, I don't know. Learn from me. Don't do dumb shit. Don't get ahead of yourself. So there's no real just putting another keyway in here and riding it. Because, uh, not without a timing chain. Unless I can part one off of my buddy. But, we can't even get the valve cover off of his. So, probably not going to happen. Probably going to order a new one. But other than that, she rides good. Rides great. Just got to get the bugs out of there. Just, I guess one more part I got to replace. Um... Yeah. I mean, it's just like riding the snowmobile before winter. The weather is not, like, perfect. It was just snowing like crazy just a second ago. Like, I have no idea where that came from. But it's supposed to be chilly the next few days. Like, the next week or so. So, I guess it'll give me time to get parts, get this thing torn apart, put back together. I've taken apart so many times now that it's just, like, I know exactly what's got to come off and go back on. But she rides great. She looks good doing it. I think I got oil on my camera. And I got oil on my hands, so I can't really wipe it off very well. I could try with a paper towel. But... Nah, it's not much better. If anything, I made it worse. Um, so anyways, this is kind of an update to what... Everybody know what the Dilioski is? I think that might be a little better. Um, we've replaced absolutely everything... That uh, could possibly be replaced. To find out it was a 99 cent part. So, got a new wiring harness coming. It's supposed to be here today. But, uh, like I said, with uh, the Detroit fiasco going, everything really goes through Detroit before it comes here. So, if the post office ain't working right, then we're probably not going to see that for a little bit. So, I might have to order that timing chain from... Uh, somewhere else and have them send it like FedEx or whatever to make sure I get it. Otherwise, uh, I might not get it for a while. Hopefully it's not too much. It's like a dumping money into this. Not really into it too much. Just It's just the time of waiting to get it going and everything. And it's just yeah, one thing after another, after another, after another. So, you live and you learn. I've learned quite a bit. Went to AutoZone today. 
went to try to buy stuff and they've got a rope across the front of the counter on both counters so literally when i went grab something off the shelf i had to throw it at them to get it to the counter absolutely ridiculous and then they had to like throw it back after they scanned it i mean it's just a little bit out of hand i understand they're being over cautious but yeah like wigwam teepee two tents yeah it's an old dad joke one of my dad's jokes wigwam teepee so other than that really ain't got much for you she rode she rode good shifted good until it didn't on the way back it just died i'm like oh crap so i stopped i hit the starter and it just it spun and i heard the grinding and i was like yep no we're pushing her so i'm glad it's not like a broken like piston rod or anything you know it's just something stupid like this it's just time consuming but i guess i got nothing but time right now but this was supposed to be my thing <laughs> this was supposed to be my thing to kill time during this whole lockdown situation and the only time that i've killed is trying to fix it because look I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but it is snowing like crazy right now. But it's not even enough to uh, ride a snowmobile in. It'll never accumulate. So we're here. Um, I just wanted to give you that update. I know I said I was going to update Saturday or Sunday possibly, but this is what happened. I'm glad that that's all it is, really. Because now I know where the problem is, so if it keeps happening, I can figure out a way to fix it. Um, I watched another video where somebody used grinding compound. And they put it on the shaft here, which is what I was doing just a second ago. To try to smooth out the surface, and this surface, because it was a little rough. And that's what I was in the process of doing. I was getting ready to slap together. Um, and then I noticed the timing chain. But I wanted to drop a video to let everybody know. That I did get her going. She was running. Put a smile on my face. So I think that's just the push that I needed to get everything fixed on it. And fixed right. So no more test drives until everything's fixed correctly. But now that I know it's broke, timing chain. I've got, I bought four keyways. I broke one. Um, so I've got a starter clutch coming. I've got a new starter coming which I don't even need now because the starter is alright but it will be a backup I've got a new wiring harness coming um, I don't think that I'll need it right now I think I'm going to run what I got for right now until something happens with it and then replace the wiring harness and then rebuild it so I have a backup <sighs> because to be honest I'm sick of doing work on it so we're getting near 10 minutes I'm going to shut her down load this video uh, I guess we're just going to spend some time with family and order some parts. Hopefully this is the last part I have to order. So until next time, keep it classy. Wash your fingers before you pick your nose. And uh, yeah, we just got extended to April 30th on our lockdown. So it's like 23, 22 more days, something like that. Not even sure. I've lost track of what day it is. Kids are driving me nuts. I mean, I came out here and I fired this thing up earlier and I was like, hex yeah. And then I went inside because I had to take care of the baby so the old lady could uh, take a nap. And then uh, I came back out here after she got up. And I went to back it out of the garage. And there's a six-year-old standing behind me hollering like, come on, dude. Why is it every time I walk out the door, they got to follow me? You can't ever get away from them. It's almost like they like me or something. I don't know why. <laughs> So, all right. I didn't really want to do a 10 minute video, but here we are, almost at 10 minutes. Make sure there's not anything else I'm missing here. Um, I don't think I got anything else. Um, except for thanks to Jim, we found our problem and we keep breaking them, but I guess that's my fault for getting ahead of myself and not waiting for that starter clutch. So, and I think we fried the starter clutch by trying to start it, 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 because it looks like it got hot. I'm um, trying to start it with the timing being off. So, and we might have fatigued the chain too. 
that's a possibility. But I'm going to pop off of here and uh, load this video. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. There's nothing more I can do for the evening. Um, order a timing chain and then uh, we'll check you out when I get the timing chain, I guess. So keep classy, folks. See you later.